Summer jobs provide many high school and college students the first step toward independence and financial responsibility. These young adults can now meet some of their own needs instead of always looking to mom and dad. But Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is using a political litmus test that can rob youth from this growing up experience. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. I can remember my first work experience with a government-related summer job. It wasn't make work, either. I delivered mail, taking the place of U.S. postal workers who were on vacation. My family still has a picture of me in a mail jeep with a steering wheel on the right-hand side. One time I stopped, and the sliding door did not, but that's getting off topic. The point is, I learned the value of working, and it was a good experience. Now, as we turn the focus back on Canada, we learn Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government recently announced it would ban employers from receiving summer job grants without signing what is euphemistically called an attestation. In other words, the firms have to agree in writing with abortion and LGBT rights. Ordinarily, I would criticize such a tyrant, excuse me, politician, for violating the First Amendment. But in Canada, the case is a little different. In 1960, Parliament passed the Canadian Bill of Rights. It's not as strong as the U.S. Bill of Rights. It can be overridden in specific cases with the permission of Parliament. Nevertheless, the bill has some great features. Listen to this. The Parliament of Canada, affirming that the Canadian nation is founded upon principles that acknowledge the supremacy of God, the dignity and worth of the human person, and the position of the family in a society of free men and free institutions. And it goes on. A few lines later, the bill recognizes the freedoms of speech and religion. Then, a paragraph after that, it says that no law of Canada may infringe on these freedoms. Again, we have the exception that Parliament can override the Bill of Rights, which is not the case with the Prime Minister's self-serving policy. Diversity of beliefs is the loser here. Companies that hold to traditional views on abortion and LGBT rights are treated as second-class corporate citizens. Think of the faulty civic lessons this teaches high school and college students. There's a warning here for the U.S. I've noticed that a departure from time-honored traditions often starts in the U.K. Then the innovation which is really a long-discarded idea brought back to life, moves on to Canada. Finally, it hits the U.S. or Australia. But this only happens when the culture is ready for it. Let's make up our minds we'll never be ready. And let's hope that Trudeau's policy does not settle well with the Canadian people, eh? This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. dot